to start with the team news then, first of all. Um, Harry Bunn, first of all, how's he getting on? A better, but not ready for tomorrow, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that he is ready for training Wednesday and preparing for the Barnsley game. Shindy and Hef were back yesterday in training and Aaron as well. So these three players will be in training today again and available for the squad tomorrow. And we had no further injuries or problems after the Man City game. Yeah, because we saw Tariq Holmes Dennis look like he was limping a bit at the end. Is he okay? Is he just shattered? Yeah. So he is as okay as he can be after this very intense yeah. game for him and another 90 minutes after he played against Rotherham, 90 minutes as well. But uh, no, nothing serious. Uh, he will be, I think, still tired uh, after these two games, but nothing serious. And uh, Jonathan Hogg, how's his recovery going? Uh, good so far. I hope that he can be back in training after the City game or maybe after the Newcastle game. So this is at the minute our aim to bring him back uh, for the games after Man City or Newcastle. Reading at home next then. Do you see any similarities between Huddersfield and Reading in terms of the way you play? Yes, we both prefer to play on the pitch rather uh, in the air, I think. And they as well created a style of football with their manager, Jab Stam, and his assistant, uh, and both work together in, in Amsterdam's youth teams. And we know each other. We played against each other uh, a couple of times with my under-23 against uh, Ajax under-23. Um, and they're doing well so far. So we've seen in the game where we played Reading away how strong they are. And now, of course, we like to show that we progressed uh, in the time between these two matches and that we correct the result even when we, I think, performed very well in the second half with only 10 men, but we didn't get something out of this game. And this is what we like to make sure. After the game tomorrow, we like to have points against Reading. This is our aim. And for this, first of all, and like always, and it sounds easy, but it isn't. We know that it isn't easy. We have to perform and we have to come to our best. On the other side, I think there is no reason why we are, will not be able to come to our best. So we are, we are fit, we have uh, players available, uh, nearly a whole squad together. We have confidence, trust, self-belief, uh, hopefully again, a great atmosphere, energy in the stadium. And then we have to bring all of these things together and come to our best against a very good side again. But this doesn't change that we like to win this football match, a very, very important one again. Are you expecting them to have a lot of possession tomorrow night? Yes, why not? I think this can happen. For us will be important, uh, not this stats, to be fair, I'm not sure how the stats were when we played the away game. For us will be important that we uh, score one goal more than the opponent. This is for us to more the most important stats. And on the other side, I think we have to make sure that uh, we focused on ourselves like in the past. So if they have whichever uh, ball position or not is for me, to be fair, not so irrelevant. To be fair, I'm very, very confident that we are able to perform tomorrow. I think Manchester City was a great test for us because Manchester City likes to have a lot of ball possession as well. And I think if there are two teams from their idea of football are comparable in this both divisions, then I think Reading and Manchester City are comparable. And I think everybody will agree that we did it well against Man City, against yeah, one of the best teams in Europe. And this is why I'm totally confident that uh, we have to be focused on ourselves and that we have to use every information we can take out of the Man City game and everything what we did well against Man City. This is what we have to use 
in our ideas and our thoughts when we prepare us for the game tomorrow against Reading. As I said, we have to be focused on ourselves. This is the most important thing. Make you independent from everything what is around you. This helped us and will help us in the future so much that we only look on ourselves and, and still trust and believe in ourselves. And we have to create an idea what we have to do tomorrow. And then we have to make sure that we follow this idea, which hopefully is the right one. And then hopefully we can be successful again. The games are coming so thick and fast. Is it quite tough to contend with all this planning that you need to do at the moment? Because there's so many games. Yeah, it is tough. Of course, I think uh, if I will say, yeah, very easy at the minute, totally relaxed, I will lie. So it is tough, but uh, we are used to be it. Uh, we are used to it, and we are able to handle it. And on the other side, to be fair, if you are on a such good run that we have at the minute, the next game cannot come quicker because you you like to have this feeling again. You like to show performances again, and. This is why we are still full of energy. So uh, I heard something, uh, if we maybe could be uh, have a burnout or, or anything like, like this. So if, in my opinion, a flying team will never have a burnout because they are flying. So <laughs> this is not uh, possible. This don't, uh, uh, can come together. So and uh, this team at the minute is flying, totally flying. And they know what they have to do uh, and what they did so far that they ca come in this uh, positive moon, uh, mood what they have and everybody likes to keep this on running.